Another way of looking at your cat's personality is through the lens of these five traits, which were developed by researchers at the University of South Australia. Rather than trying to make overall claims about a cat's personality, they chose instead to focus on the individual traits that tend to make up their dispositions. Skittishness. Skittish cats are nervous and constantly on edge. They may not come out to visit that often, and never when strangers are present, and they may immediately bolt for cover every time there's an unexpected noise. If you have a skittish cat, you should give them plenty of places where they can hide and feel safe. Tall cat trees, especially ones with built-in kitty condos, are good ideas. You may also want to see if you can pinpoint what's causing their skittishness. They may be afraid of another cat in the house, or there might be something in your home that frightens them. If you can remove or reduce the trigger, you may reduce the skittishness. It's also worth noting that skittishness refers to an enduring nervousness, not the nervousness exhibited by cats in a new environment. If you just brought your cat home, it's natural for them to be a bit on edge for a few days. If that nervousness persists, however, you may have a skittish cat on your hands. Outgoingness. In many ways, this is the opposite of skittishness. Outgoing cats are curious, much like the inquisitive cat personality type, and they'll happily come out to greet guests or rummage through the groceries that you just brought home. These cats benefit from having plenty of toys and interactive playthings in the house, and you may want to consider building them a catio or at least putting a cat tree by the window. However, as with inquisitive cats, you don't want to let them roam around outside. You should also take note if you have an outgoing cat that suddenly become more reclusive. While this can be a normal part of aging, it can also mean that your cat is in pain or suffering from some sort of illness. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Dominance. Dominant cats don't do well with other felines. They may fight or bully more submissive cats, and having a dominant cat is a great way to ensure that you have one or more skittish cats as well. You shouldn't let a dominant cat roam around outside, as they'll likely battle with other cats in the neighborhood. That dramatically increases the likelihood that they'll get seriously injured or contract a disease like feline AIDS. Dominant cats may also try to dominate other species, like dogs. This might end up with your dog becoming just as skittish as your other cats or with the dog putting an immediate, and possibly fatal, stop to the bullying. Either way, it's best to not let your dominant cat interact with other animals. While you may be able to temper a cat's dominance through training, socialization, or medical intervention, such as giving them anti-anxiety medication or spaying or neutering them, it may not be something that you can help. In that case, your best bet is to just make sure they're the only kitty in the house or to keep them separated from the other animals at all times. Spontaneity. Spontaneous cats are impulsive and erratic. They might go from cuddling up in your lap one second to tearing around your apartment at top speed the next, with seemingly no rhyme or reason for the change. These kitties are similar to skittish cats, although their behavior may be less nervous than their counterparts. Still, you should try to see if you can figure out what's causing the impulsive behavior, as it may stop if you identify and remove triggers. Friendliness. The opposite of dominance and friendliness in cats indicates a willingness to accept other people and animals into the cat's territory. They may welcome other kittens, and even dogs, as additional playmates, and they'll likely be the first person to greet a guest when they walk through the door. While friendliness can be an innate trait in some cats, in most cases, it's the result of successful socialization. The more time that your cat spends around other people and animals, especially as a young kitten, the more likely they will see them as friends rather than threats. As with inquisitive cats, though, friendliness isn't always a good thing, especially if the cat is allowed outside. Some animals truly are threats, and a friendly cat may be less likely to identify them as such before it's too late. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.